Hi everyone, my name is Smriti Gupta. My organization, Where Are India's Children, is working on technology solutions to achieve 25x increase with child adoption in India. The, uh, the key problem is that abandoned and orphaned children in, uh, in India, when they reach child shelters, that is formerly known as child care institutions, CCIs, these children do not reach the legal adoption pool. In 2018, our government report showed that out of approximately 4 lakh children in child shelters, more than 50,000 should have been in the legal adoption pool, but the legal adoption pool is only at 2,000 at any point of time. Now, to put this another way, 22 of every 100 children in child shelters should be evaluated for reaching the legal adoption pool. But currently, less than one out of every 100 children uh, gets uh, evaluated and becomes legally adopted. This has real life consequences on, on, vulner excuse me, on vulnerable children. First of all, the child's right to family is violated and it has long term, lifelong negative impact on the children who reach the childcare institutions, putting them at huge risk of abuse and neglect and they age out of the system and without any support. So the root of this problem is that there is lack of real-time data-driven visibility into the abandoned and orphaned children at child shelters. The indicators that are needed to identify these children, uh, such as uh, you know, their family contact, legal guardian status, etc., are either manually tracked or, uh, or the data is not um, collected clearly, uh, which means that the eligible children, they cannot be auto flagged uh, and the, uh, the local authorities, they do not get any real time insights into the status of these children. So they're not able to move the children into the legal adoption process. What we are proposing is an open source technology solution, which would accurately and continuously identify abandoned and orphaned children at the child shelters and trigger their movement into the legal adoption pool. Um, we'll do this by um, uh, using the indicators and tracking them in an automated manner. So the data, the relevant data should be tracked in an automated manner and the children should be auto flagged, um, thus providing real time insights to the local authorities. Now, to do this, we need your support in four areas. Um, number one, um, to deploy the solution on the ground, we need to secure government approval from the Women and Child uh, Development Ministry. We are currently in discussion with the Pune WCD, with Telangana WCD and NCPCR. Um, we need your support in getting us through these approvals. Number two, if you're connected with any government innovation programs or incubation programs where our work can fit, please help us get connected with these programs so we are in partnership with the government. The third one, um, private companies can support us through CSR, but more importantly, private companies can support us through technology and talent support to help us deploy, uh, excuse me, to help us develop and scale the technology solution. And um, the fourth one is um, for foundation, if any foundations, trusts, and other charity groups can support us through grants and donations, that would be excellent. And again, more importantly, if certain foundations and trusts are working in districts in various states on existing programs, uh, we would be happy to co-develop and uh, you know, co-deploy the technology solution within your existing framework, uh, within your existing work. So these are the four areas where we, where we would like your support uh, to help us ensure that no child has to be unnecessarily institutionalized and every child can reach a family. So where we are. So right now we are at the yellow dot. Uh, we have completed the early ground research um, uh, through 2019 and 2020. We have uh, figured out the functional specifications for the technology solution. We have started the development of the prototype. In now in stage one, we are hoping to complete the prototype development and secure the government approval. In stage two, we plan to develop and deploy the solution in about 15 to 20 districts and collect comprehensive Ground feedback. And then stage number stage three, we plan to expand our solution from 15 to 20 districts to multiple states and then eventually to Pan India. The funding that we require over the very first year is about 60 lakh INR, half of which would be used in product development and half of which would be used in product deployment. Again, we are looking at a deployment uh, in about 15 to 20 districts. We are a Section 8 NGO and our primary goal is to ensure that the stick enabled solution is adopted and is used and produces results on the ground. 
Um, we believe our biggest challenge would be changing the status quo, but you know, we are well positioned to handle that. Uh, our team uh, has background in technology, business, HR, entrepreneurship, as well as counseling. Uh, we have all been working in this child welfare space for a few years now. Um, and also since 2018, we have seen multiple government and Supreme Court directives, which are um, acknowledging that a child belongs with a family. So these directives are the headwinds that we need to ensure that the technology solution is deployed and used on the ground. So ultimately, we want that within two years and hopefully sooner, every eligible child in child shelters across India will enter the legal adoption pool. In the future, there would be a sustainable and real-time prompt flow of children into the legal adoption pool so no child is subjected to unnecessary institutionalization and children can, um, um, children can reach families uh, quickly and promptly. Now, this would not only ensure a 25x increase in child adoption in India, it will also uh, help India meet the UN resolution, for the, which is calling for an end to institutional care. Um, as an adoptive parent myself, I can you know, vouch for the life transforming positive impact on children when they reach families and how they thrive with families. And we need to ensure that every child reaches a family, that every child reaches a caring and loving environment. So with your support, we can achieve a sustainable path to a family for every abandoned and orphan child for decades to come. So please support us, please support our work. My contact information is at the bottom of the slide um, and you can also reach us through the NCSI team. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you.